guys, welcome back to my channel. So today for you, I have this huge haul slash tutorial that I'm going to do on my channel. I got lots of new goodies today. Well, this week and today I got a great goodie. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share all that with you and then I will have a tutorial right on after. So first up, I got the new Modern Renaissance palette today. I am super obsessed and I've been waiting for this for the longest time. I've played with it at work and I had mentioned to my best friend that I wanted this palette really bad because I have a lot of, you know, Morphe palettes. I don't have really anything um, really name brand except for like a couple individual shadows. So I was super excited that I had tried this out already and I knew that I loved it. So just in case you are out of tune with the world and you have never seen it, this is what it looks like. So you have your 14 shades, comes with a little mirror. And then you get this nice little brush that goes with it as well and so I will be using this palette for my tutorial today so that's my first goodie I have big shout out to Maddie for giving me the perfect Christmas gift even though it's like a month late but it's okay so I placed an order at HB Beauty Bar um, this past week and I finally got my goodies in. So first up I wanted to try the new, well not new, new to me, but I wanted to try the LA Girl Pro Conceal, um, HD concealers. So I got the color Porcelain and then the color Toast. Um, if you have never seen these or tried these out, they do come with like a little applicator brush on it. I've seen several people take them off and just use them and you know use a brush to go with it but I've been using it um just like this and I haven't had any problems it's a little hard to get out of the tube I must say and my concealer went my highlight color went way faster than my um contour color and I don't know if there just wasn't anything in this but I just got this Friday and it's almost out but as far as concealing it's amazing and I it's definitely a favorite right now so another thing I got from that same package was some new Milani Amore matte lips I got two colors that are just the uh, regular lip color so it's just a matte lip if you can see them so one is a more like pinky and then another is more of like a burnt orange brown color so this one is covet and this one is loved along with those two um just plain matte shades i got their metallic lips so i got four of these um, this one is more of like a pinky gold and it's chromatic addict. This one is more of like a brownish gold. Like it's a red, but it's like a burnt red. I use that word a lot. But it reminds me of like a reddish orange with some golden and this is the materialistic. Then these two shades are kind of like your pinky reds. This one's like very berry and it's called Pretty Problematic. And then you have this one that's, you know, it's not as berry, but it's definitely got like a lot more glitter in it. It's got more of like a pink in it rather than like a like magenta color. And this is pure matteness. Now I will say that if you do follow me on Instagram, I have swatched the metallic lips already. I love them. They are amazing. The pigment is 
out of the world, out of this world. And I must say, they last pretty long. And as far as like favorite liquid lipsticks, I gotta give it to Jeffree Star for the first one. They would be my, Milani would be my second. Third would be my NYX, which I have plenty of. And then fourth would be my Kylie Jenner. So that is all I got from that package. But I did go and steal some more NYX lips. I do have the liquid suede and I have some lingeries already, but I got a couple new shades. So this one is soft spoken. It's like a mauvey, really mauvey berry color. Then I got a couple of these like brownish cool neutral colors in the lingerie. So I have Lace Detail, Honeymoon, Teddy, Bedtime Flirt, and Corset. Now I have used Corset already. It's more of like that gray nude and then i have used a uh, teddy i actually used it today and it's a really pretty brown it's very deep so for my last package that i got um it's not really makeup related but i just figured i'd share with you uh what else i another one of my um, impulse buys so I was on Instagram and I saw this company called Kalo. I thought it was Qualo because it's Q-A-L-O. And somebody said Kalo. So I said, okay. And what it is, it's a silicone wedding band. It's for people that have like active lifestyles that a normal wedding band would or ring would get in the way. So if you like work out, you're a welder, um, I felt that it'd be a really good investment for me to get because as a hairstylist, my hands are always in the water. So this is the Kalo ring. This is one of them. I got a three piece collection. So I got the teal and then I got the white and the black. This is a size four. It is basically very true to size. And it's perfect. My wedding band is actually a size 4. I mean, my engagement ring is a size 4. And it, like, turns still. My fingers are so freaking tiny. But, I mean, you can't feel it. It's lightweight. I actually slept with it on last night. And, I mean, it was amazing to not have to worry about my ring getting messed up. Um, so, definitely, if you have an active lifestyle or, you know, Anywhere that you feel like your ring could kind of compromise or be damaged in any type of way, I highly suggest these. They are great. And I am also getting one for my future hubby who works out a lot because last thing I need is something happening to that ring while he's working out and lifting all kinds of however much weight he lifts. So this is going to be the safest route for at least like while he's working out. Um, of course, he's going to wear his ring anywhere else, but better safe than sorry. So, definitely recommend. Very nice. They come in a whole bunch of colors. This is the women's style. They have a men's style. Um, they have other different styles. You can customize it, get any color you want. And it was very quick to get here. So, moving on from me just babbling on about everything else, I'm going to jump in. And do a nice little look with the new Modern Renaissance palette. So, I'm going to start off with this burnt orange color. It's called burnt orange. And that's going in my crease. Next, I'm going in with Real Gar. And it's going in my crease as well. Now I'm picking up Red Ochery. And that's going to stay more towards the outer 
of the eye. So I'm going to put the color Tempera on the lid. So now we're just going to kind of zoom through the face really quick. So here is the finished look. Um, I went ahead and added red Ochery right here and the real gar to the bottom lash line and then I topped it off with the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Covet to top off this very um, sunset burnt orange type look. Um, my routine is the same as it's been for the last couple videos. Um, you know, the Anastasia foundation. I use the uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal, NYX Mascara, Artist Couture, and Coco Bling. I mean, this highlight is to die for. Anastasia on the brow. And as always, the uh, Becca and Jaclyn Hill collab for the cheeks. I wanted to focus really on the um, the eyes rather than the rest of the face. So I hope you guys enjoyed since I rambled on in the beginning. But I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. See ya. Bye.